Okay, kids, so we're here and we're messing with the Tyler Gray Models Bambi Bucket. Tyler has made a new bottom O-ring that he 3D prints down in the bottom of this part right here so that the plunger sits on it and seals it up. So the first one he wasn't happy with, but he built a new one and said, hey, here, put this in here. Ah. So today we're going to go and we're going to take it out. I'm going to show you how the mechanics work on the inside of this thing, which is really cool. And we're going to see how I adjust it so that it will hold water, how it will fill quicker when you dump it in, if you hold it open. And we're going to use my table to dip it up and down. It's going to go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Let's go play. All right. And since I have this thing tore apart, I'm going to show you the guts of this thing. This is the valve. And he has a rotator on the end of a servo that pushes down. And you can kind of see he's built this corkscrew. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually working with him with a new uh, rubber O-ring that he has printed. And the old one looked like that. So you can kind of see the difference. So this, we're working on the prototypes. We're working. So he's working on it. I'm testing it. So anyway, there is the guts that go down inside there and uh, waterproof servo and all this kind of stuff. And you can kind of see how this valve works. Not quite exactly the same as the tarantula valve on the actual Bambi bucket. This servo is a badass servo. I'll have to check out the specs on it. But, you know, you need a badass servo for a badass bucket. All right. And I'm putting this back together. And in case you guys ever had to do this, I, you know, something breaks and you get something. So this is the bottom ring that goes on here. And this is fabric. So you've got to line up these holes with those holes with these bolts. So what I did is I went through and I took a little silver Sharpie and just marked all the holes, because it was really hard to see through this. I'm holding the bottom of it, because I gotta put the ring on it, and I gotta line these damn things up. Focus, you POS. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so there, now you can see, there's the silver part that's around the hole. I just can't get it over. And that will help you line up your hole for your screws for on there. You gotta do that all the way around. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna get this thing put back together. Yeah, we'll get it. All right, we're, we're testing it because I had to adjust all of my parameters to get this thing to work. So I'm just curious. I should have done it on the other side. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll flip this bitch around. Hang on. All right, I flipped it around. <laughs> Got a the ass. I have this cool table that goes up and down. So I can test to see uh, how this works. And you can kind of hear, I've got it kind of torqued down in there. You can hear the servo going. And then I have two spots on my radio on here. That's like barely open. That's full closed. And then all the way forward is fully open. So I wanted to see how this goes. <laughs> and in order to dip it, I'm just going to dip the whole thing down in there. Because I want to see how fast it actually dips with it open, how it fills. Because as you see in some of the past ones, this thing might sit on top of the water and kind of float around until you finally get it tipped over and it does this thing. So I want to see if this thing will actually fill up. And it's coming down. Oh, look how fast that went. Well, that was nice. That was nice. So now we can close it i'm gonna close it and let's just see how well this i can't do it by hand i gotta do it with my foot so now we're now we're coming out of the the hole and you can still i can hear the servo down in there let's see how well it how well it holds Now that it's got some power on it. And I'd say that's pretty damn good. 
Most of this is just water off the side and it could be coming out the seams maybe, but that's, that's not bad. I mean, in all reality, that's not bad at all. Still, still holding. You can see the amount of water up in there. It's to like, where's it? Right there. That's the level it's at right now. And it's holding. So I wanna see what my first position does. Just barely. Now if I dump it full, it doesn't take long at all. Let's see. And I need to go into my sub trim and I need to up that, let's try 90. And then we'll see how much because I want to get two drop patterns. I want to get a long drop pattern and then a deluge. I'm going to drop it down in here again. I'm going to leave it open so we can see how it does. And this is slow. And that's, that's pretty cool. You can get that thing down in there. and That's completely submerged. In the water. For a one gallon thing. And then we're going to close it all the way. And let's... Pull it out and see how much. Still some drips. That's not bad. I would say that's not bad. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. But you're not losing a whole lot of water out as this is working. So let's try the first position, see if it does anything. Not enough. Let's get this to, let's say, 100%. Let's try it. And then blue. Not bad. Not bad at all. A couple of weeks. So let me see if I can tighten that up. I'm on the negative 45. Ooh, look at there. That tightened that up real good. But man, you can hear that servo in there just going, Aah! We're gonna try the first position. I need it on here. Let's see the half position. That's not bad. All right. Much better on the drippage. This could be just residue, res residue on all the stuff. And we will try the half spot. I can go through and do a bunch of spot drops. And when I get to the end, do the full thing. That's pretty damn cool. Let's hear what it sounds like whenever I fully close it. <laughs> so this is at 60% on the negative side for my setup. Now, if I drop it down to where it was, which was at 40, you can see it kind of open up and it's leaking. There's 60% back. So that's pretty good. And it's a little noisy. So just leave it cracked. Drop this thing down in here. It actually fills up fairly nice. It fills up a little bit better if it's fully opened. Like I can, oh yeah. We're leaving that bitch open all the time. Halfway. And that drains out all that. That's a long dump. <laughs> That's just the halfway. Now we're gonna try fold up and see how long it takes. Go. Less than five seconds. Less than five seconds to dump that whole thing out. And it was about a 15 second drop with the medium one, but that's that's just my adjustments in the radio. So, with the bucket and all that stuff, it, it really helps to leave it open when you go to dip. He's got a, the new rubber spot in there, and it seems to do pretty well, but you gotta really force that servo to push that, all that thing down in there. But yeah, it's gonna be cool. So, yeah, all right, I went out and I, I didn't build it. Somebody else built it for it, but I fixed it and I made it and I made it work for me. Not that it was broken. It wasn't broken. Ugh, it's Saturday.